Because his multi-million dollar business is a monoculture, a farm made up of a single crop, it's more vulnerable to invasion by a tiny killer. This is where they bore into the ear shank. And you see the damage here. They could actually tunnel up into the ear, and then they lay their eggs, and then their larvae feed on the corn and complete the cycle. What? There he is. That is a multi-billion dollar corn pest right there in his hand. This is a European corn borer. Ah, don't lose him, Eric. I won't. This is a constant battle producers have to face year in and year out all the way through the Midwest. If you don't treat, you can lose significant yield. So Greg calls in an airstrike. Robert Grace is one of 3,500 ag pilots in the U.S., an expert in the aerial deployment of bug-killing chemicals. Ag flying is a different type of flying than virtually anything else because of the precision and closeness to the ground. We're typically eight feet off the ground, traveling 120 to 150 miles an hour using GPS navigation that will give us guidance to within about one or two feet. Like Greg, Robert inherited a family business which has seen extraordinary change. When my father started, they had a handful of chemicals, one or two or three. Now, it's not unusual for us to have 40 or 50 products available because without that, the yields will suffer. The pesticide industry has had to develop this wide-ranging chemical arsenal because the insects have their own secret weapon. Evolution. Sooner or later, the pests evolve resistance to every new product. Of course, no one's been happy about this. Certainly not the farmers. But caught between the need to keep producing and the increasing cost of a chemical arms race, they couldn't win. They needed a game changer. So the food industry turned to a new technology based on genetics rather than chemistry. The genetically modified organism, better known as a GMO. 80% of Greg Stone's crop is now genetically modified. Engineered to produce its own toxin, that's lethal to insects like the European corn borer. So why do farmers like Greg still need ag pilots like Robert? This is a picture of Robert's work, recorded over a period of two weeks by a GPS unit we attached to his plane. He's still spraying, just not as much as before. Unfortunately, some corn borers are resistant to the toxin that the GM corn produces. Robert's job is to make sure those bugs don't take over the gene pool. Between the GM toxin and the pesticides, the system is working, at least for now. All this modern technology means farmers today produce vast quantities of crops.